Hello, my lovely Libras. It's Lori, and I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and having fun. If you are a new viewer here, I hope you find something that resonates with you and that you come back in the future. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you all to pieces. All right, let us go ahead and see who we are focusing, whoops, see who we're focusing on today. What is truly magical about you? Oh, Papa Legba, you are a strong person. You have a very good um, sense of self. You know exactly who you are. You're confident. You've got great ethics. You've got great boundaries. Um, you connect really well well with people because they don't have to worry about anything with you because you make it very clear through your words, through your energies, you know, you're very laid back and stuff, but people just do not mess with you. They, in, I'm hearing they inherently know not to mess with you. You're a very kind, gentle person and there's no reason to antagonize you. Beautiful. Yes, you have definite connections um, here on, you know, in the 3D, but you've got definite strong connections to um, all the other dimensions. Your ancestors, uh, your higher power, you're definitely connected. This, this card here is giving me that fool's energy. So like you don't need a lot of in life to be happy. You are fine um, with your spirituality, the few um, close friends that you have, you know, you may only have one close friend, but you cherish that relationship and you take care of that relationship. Now, others of you, you may have more people than just one that you really like are, are like <laughs> soulmate. Okay. I'm talking really tight. The only person's people that you really, really, um, work on the relationship with so I'm getting less than five people for most of you, okay? And it's probably one to maybe two people that you really trust explicitly, that you work on the relationship with. Otherwise, everyone you encounter is a friendly soul, but they are they do not become a friend, okay? They do not become a close compadre, um, amigo, you don't know. No. I mean, a friend but more of an acquaintance friend, okay? And you're always good. You treat everybody equally. You treat everyone um, fairly, kindly. I'm getting very strong um, Libra energy with this, even though this would be Leo energy, I believe. Um, yeah, but you're you're free. You're carefree. You've, you're energized. You trust the processes because you've been through it enough times to know how it works. You've got great boundaries. Absolutely. Really good strength of character. That's what keeps coming through. Strength of character. You know who you are and you don't have to question anything. All right. It's it's not even sunny today and yet the light coming through that window. I may have to change my room up. That'd be nice. I would love to change up my setting. Okay. What have you accomplished in the past that you, you should be proud of? Ooh. The lover's card. You may have already found your true soulmate, the person that you are intending to spend the rest of your life with. Now, like I said, this does not have to be, this could be that friend that I just mentioned, okay? And of course, any beautiful relationship starts out with friendship, then develops into romance, okay? The romance can be there from the beginning. The romantic feelings can be there. But you have to start as friends and build a rent, uh, friendship before you can really, really have that solid relationship. And you definitely did that with at least one other person. And I'm getting it. It, it could be um, somebody you married. It could be a, a, just a really tight friend, a tight You've got a really good bond with a friend. Okay. I do see you um, understanding the balance 
of relationships, of nature, of life, of the universe, of how things, if you stay neutral, you can make healthier choices. It's when we go one way or the other. This is good. This is bad. That's You can't make a healthy choice when you have that attitude, okay? Or that thought process. And I think you overcame that and found your connection to your higher power. Maybe when you met this person, this friend, this lover, whoever it is, okay? Does not matter. Um, I think they may have introduced you to this um, spirituality, this understanding of neutrality, this understanding of balance, of having the divine within yourself and seeing the divine in everything else. Beautiful. See, you accomplished that in the past, and your, your connections are very strong. We've got the green man, the emperor here, okay? So that's telling me you're confident, you're capable. You, you um, are connected with your kingdom here and the kingdom your kingdom is your divinity i don't know how else to put this beautiful beautiful i love that okay let's see um what your impact is on other people the eight of wands okay the the eight of wands speaks of two things of taking action usually swift action that's why we have the running uh, stag here or it can be about communicating and getting the news out spreading the word huh. getting out front of something so that there is no disaster what is this Hmm. Okay, what I'm hearing is you, you're spreading the word to prevent disaster um, and you're getting out in front of it. Like you're, you're preparing people ahead before they, before they encounter whatever this is so that they, when they encounter it, they know how to deal with it. And I, I keep hearing it brings them back to neutral. Okay, I'm getting a couple of different things here. Some of you definitely disaster preparedness type situations, okay, so that people don't panic. They don't panic during this situation. They, they're prepared. You've gotten the information to them before something happens, okay, so they know how to act, how to respond, not how to react, not to panic. Very good. The other thing that I'm getting is if you're not like a disaster preparedness type person or, you know, along those lines like CPR, first aid, nursing, whatever it is, this is psychological. This could be spiritual, psychological, subconscious, um, where you're helping others to get prepared, like like, I guess, like the stuff I'm information I share here, where I'm telling you ahead of time that this is what may happen so that when it happens, you know how to respond. Okay. Or not you, how they, they know how to respond, how to act in that situation. So their emotions are not all over the place so that they don't feel devastated when the situation comes to them. And it can be because we're talking about the subconscious and we're talking about the psyche and the ego, people can have a lot of misconceptions because of our society's pressure of what things should be. You know, having, um, being born into a family that has a mother and a father, and then you have 2.2 kids in that family. You have a cat, you have a dog, you have two cars. Each person has a job. You get a babysitter for the kids, you know. And then when the kids grow up, they go through 18 years of school. And then when you graduate from school, you have to have had a high school sweetheart that you're going to marry. And then after that, you get a lifetime career and one job only. Come on. Those are societal beliefs. Those are not yours or anyone else's. That's what society makes us think we're, we're supposed to do. And what I'm hearing here is that there's a lot of people that suffer with guilt, shame for not 
accomplishing what society says we should accomplish. Okay, they're unique. They're different. They don't want to conform and they shouldn't have to conform. And you're teaching them how to accept themselves and situations maybe before they get into that situation. So they're prepared. I, I love this. I love this. And it can be anything. I mean, it can be spiritual uh, advice from a rabbi. It could be psychotherapy. It can be just life coaching. It can be getting this type of message out in front of people now. But you're doing this consistently. Okay. This is something that you are doing and it is helping those around you. So that's the impact. <laughs> that's a pretty big impact. Okay. What is a talent or skill that you have that we should know about? The Ace of Pentacles. You offer people new ways to see things, okay? You're showing them that they are the rock, that they are solid, that they don't have to bend to somebody else's will, that they can exist in the sun and be happy and be calm, okay? Even if the clouds and the skies are a little bit, you know, cloudy and there's uncertainty, if you look within yourself, you're teaching, I love this, this is what you, exactly what you're teaching. If you look within yourself, you can find the strength, okay? You're showing them through who you are and what you have learned. If I were a li Libra, I'd be claiming this as my own message right now, okay? Because I feel like this is kind of where I'm at, okay? Oh, I love this for you guys. And what I'm seeing here is abundance dependability, stability. And that's what you're showing and teaching to other people, how to find that within themselves, how to climb the mountain and be the person that's there. Wait till you see my new channel. I think you're going to love it. All right. Let's see what we have here. What do you do now that you should never, ever stop doing? The Nine of Swords. Healing is always the first thing that comes out with this card. Letting the past go, honoring the past, recognizing the blessings that came from whatever sorrows we had, okay, um, and healing and just healing, not just yourself, but others, okay? And I'm also seeing that for some of you, yeah, boy, some of you attend a lot of funerals. Some of you, like, in support of other people. Like, it's not even somebody you know, but it's because you're working with this person that you actually go to these services with them. As they say their last goodbyes. Now, for most of you, this is about just healing from the past wounds, okay? You show people how to let go of that, release that, honor it, but to release it so that they can move forward and stand up, okay? Also, this talks to me about um, div divine protection. You know you're divinely protected and guided and you just let spirit have its, uh, you know, you let give up control of everything. See there? <laughs> Nine of swords to the ten of swords. You released all your burdens. Okay. I am hearing for some people... Okay, spirit saying, leave this as it is, okay? Putting down the burdens. You go from the nine of swords, which is where you can't sleep at night, you're restless, you know, stressed, to putting the burdens down, to realizing that anything that's been holding you in, that's been keeping you awake at night, can be healed, it can be released. You can walk, you're the tiger, these are paper. You can walk out of that situation anytime. But what you're doing here is using your knowledge of the past burdens to your benefit. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Don't forget to boop that like button if you want to show support for this person, these people, whoever they are, your fellow Librans. Okay. This is impressive work that they're doing to help the wor world. And I mean, it, there are so many different ways that this is happening. Okay. It's not one form but really intense it's beautiful the, the way it's being done okay so boop the like button if you want to uh honor this person 
We got it up over 500. I, I think we need to get this one at least to 500. At least to 500. Let's see if we can't get this one up to 777. I don't know why, but that number just feels important to me. And I do want to point out, I just looked down and we have 8, 9, and 10. So definitely heading in the right direction, too. 8, 9, and 10. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what spirit animal messages. Let's, let's do it the way I've been doing it. Spirit saying this one here. Yeah, I love this message. I love the energy. It feels so good. It feels healthy, carefree, light. Unlike me right now, I'm feeling very hot and sweaty. All right. Mouse spirit, number 40. Tend to the small things. And that's a great way to connect. Then we have 44. Four, four, four. All four on the floor. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. And then we have 62, Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins the race. I kept hearing that all night in my sleep. All right, and then we have card 12, Canary Spirit, sing your own song, being your own unique self. Don't cage yourself in, okay? Don't cage yourself in. This is eight and so is this. And then we have one, two, three, and four. Mm. Really good messages here. And look at the color, how this little mouse is up on top. And yet you need to stand sturdy to reclaim your power. And the bird is above the turtle. The bird is in the sky and the turtle's in the water. I love this. Loving this. Reclaim your power today, huh? 44. Okay, it says it takes courage to face challenges. And right now, Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is a good time to take a risk and step into a different aspect of who you are. Speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed that you might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline rush is you are initiated into a new, braver, bolder you. Panther Spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act toward reclaiming your Panther Spirit and your power. Your new identity may feel a little awkward at first, but you have what it takes and your soul wants this. So please just be bold. And this definitely ties into to, to, to today's uh, daily reading, which is, oh, you're going to love today's daily reading if you haven't caught it. It says, oh boy, oh boy, I think you're going to love this. It's going to be something like that, but it's, I mean, I was going through the roof. All right. All right. So it says, Spirit does want me to read the protection message. Are you feeling shaky because you have made a bold mood move and you have not yet seen confirmation that everything is going to work out? Or is fear holding you back? Are you afraid to act until all chances of risk or all chances of failure have um, been removed? The moment when there is no risk whatsoever will never come. There will always be some challenge facing you in your new challenge. Okay, so follow the urging of your panther spirit within and look your fear in, your, in the eye. Not your eye. If it's in your eye then face that fear because that's the only place fear comes from is within. So that was right. Face your fear in your eye. Look in your eye and eyes and say, no fear, I don't fear you. <laughs> have you ever heard the famous line, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt, I'm pretty sure. It's true. The, you, and we only fear fear because it's unknown. But once we start to do something, we get to know it and then it's not as scary. Steer down your fear and it will retreat. It will retreat. And it will make way for your courage to fill you from head to toe. I absolutely love that message. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to get you another spirit animal. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 20 minutes exactly on the clock as I just looked up. So we have here, dear love, be gentle with yourself. You can heal yourself with the power of love. You can see the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. And grace kept coming out in today's message too. Daily message. All right. Let's see what else we have here. That's beautiful. I love that. The tenderness of the deer. We have some, uh, oh, are those chickadee dee dee dees? Yeah, I miss those. I don't hear those anymore. Used to hear them all the time up where I lived in up north. Eagle Mastery, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your, wind, your wisdom inspires the world. Absolutely. What you do for others definitely helps and inspires others. Now on the bottom of the deck, we have Raven Shaman. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There, are, there is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. All right. Somebody wants a yes, no answer. We'll do three. I'll roll it. One through five is no. Six through 12 is yes. Your first answer is yes. That's a pretty good yes because you're headed right to, towards uh, 12. All right. Second answer. 12. That's definite. You're there. You're at the top. There is nowhere else to go. Okay. Beautiful. And one. That is an absolutely do not even go there. All right. Until our energy crosses, again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.